Every week, the average human consumes 5 grams of microplastics. That's roughly the size of a credit card. But where does this plastic card come from? There are many ways plastics can enter your body. When you drink your seemingly clean bottled water, you also swallow small particles with it. The plastics are even put in cosmetics as a cheap filler. Animals are consuming the small particles that have been spread all over the nature. We eat the microplastics with them. Children are in danger of being exposed to high amounts of microplastics, especially toddlers, when they play with cheap plastic toys and put them into their mouths. Dispensable products like straws are often made out of plastics. By using them, even grown-ups take in plastic directly with their mouths. You also get into contact with it by wearing cheap clothes. They often have plastics material in their fabric. The microplastics encounter you from everywhere. After showering or after using the washing machine, the particles stay in the sewer. Together with waste products from industries, microplastics float into our seas and groundwater. A vicious circle. So when clots are being formed, plastics come with them and pollute our air. It stays in the water cycle and it takes thousands of years for them to disappear. We inhale it and so do the animals. When eating, we ingest the plastic animals and plants absorbed before. When we breathe, we damage our lungs. When we eat, we damage our digestive tract. The damages can end up in inflammations, oxygen shortage, brain bleeding, and even cancer. The microplastics we get into contact with every day come both from the environment and our choice in products. We can do something about the latter. A first easy step is to avoid single-use coffee cups or plastic bags and replace them with your own mugs and cloth bags. Some cosmetics may contain harmful ingredients. When you look out for them, you decrease the danger of exposing your skin to plastic. What you also can do is to avoid clothes that are made out of nylon, polyester and other types of plastics. Instead, consider wearing natural fabrics like cotton, silk and wool. Choosing tap water over bottled water is a good step. What you can do additionally is to filter your tap water. To banish superfluous disposable products from your everyday life, you can for example switch your plastics toothbrush for a bamboo one. Even such a small thing like vacuum cleaning your room helps. You don't inhale as much of the particles in the air and dust as before. Still the dangers of microplastics are insufficiently studied. But now you have an idea of what you can do to prevent the consequences from affecting you. Microplastics, another way to die?